I think I'm most optimistic about both Tunisia and Egypt because they both seem to have gone through a process of almost unbelievable political transformation, getting rid of uh, presidents of very long standing who had instituted regimes which were definitely liable to oppress the freedom of expression. And both of them seem to be going through a transformational process where reasoned or reasonable people are discussing the possibilities for the future. That future is not clear in either case. I would say Tunisia is further advanced at this point in, than Egypt is. Uh, they're going to hold elections. Um, and as I say, I think because Tunisia has a fairly large and sophisticated intellectual community which has gathered together around this, the, the, the possibilities for Tunisia are, are fairly good. The same is true of Egypt, except I don't think they're quite so far ahead because they went through a different process and they have a, a military command structure in place, but they've just had an election which didn't satisfy all the demands of the young people in Tahrir Square, but certainly uh, contemplates the establishment of, or, or the, the election of a new president and the writing of a completely new constitution. That, that's a huge step forward. 